All right, all right, all right. Good Tuesday morning. It's election day, baby. Um, interesting, interesting note. Um, it actually appears statistically that more um, blue-collar workers and minorities are rolling over to the Republican um, Party than ever before. Um, you, you know, nobody likes this woke shit. Um, but, you, you know, I'm about the environment, being responsible, taking care of it. It's a very important uh, topic to me. But, um, you, you know, uh, I, I don't like the Nazism that's going on with it. Or just the Democratic Party. It's so extreme. You're either, you're either with them or against them. There's no middle of the road. There's no tolerance or anything like that. And I think that people are getting tired of that shit, tired of the liberal shit, tired of the political correctness shit. I mean, yo, love thy neighbor. I believe that. And good people are good people. I think that's a general concept because up here, even in the mountains, I mean, there's still KKK up here. They, you know, there's white supremacists. But um, for the most part, <clears throat> I find that um, these people who really haven't had exposure to different cultures, I mean, like it's, it, it, well, it's getting better, but, you know, it used to be like too white for a white guy up here. You, you know what I'm saying? Like if you were a white guy who came from New York, you, you, it's just too white up here, you, you know? And, um, but I mean, that's evolving. And what I found is um, their apprehension or their fears of, of different cultures is just that. It's a fear. And once you're exposed to it, they're very welcoming and very um, um, agreeable. And they say funny things like, yeah, you know, it was a colored fella, but he was a real nice guy. You know, like I haven't heard somebody call somebody colored since my grandparents. And, um, yeah, you know, it's funny how they say that. And, and they were surprised that, you know, it was a black dude and the dude was a, a good guy, you, you know, or an Indian or, um, you, you know, even my wife, um, very interesting up here because she's Asian. And, you know, I mean, she's Asian by appearance, but, you know, she was born in Brooklyn. I mean, you, you know, she, she has a, a New York accent. I mean, you, you know, she's might as well be a white chick except, you know, beautiful brown hair and dove eyes, you, you know. Um, <clears throat> And, um, yo, they were shocked. Like, they never knew that an Asian chick, and I'm talking like 20 years ago, but uh, um, they never knew that an Asian chick, you, you know, just was an American, you know, and, and they expected the accent and everything. And one lady had said something like, uh, go back uh, where you came from. And, and my wife led into her, you know, and then ended up with the, you white trash <laughs> kind of fucking comment. Very funny. And, you know, my wife uh, has advanced degrees and shit like that. So, you know, here you have this Asian chick who is also very articulate, but, um, you, you know, um, bred here and ripped into this lady. Lady's jaw hit the ground. But very rare that something like that happened up here. I mean, she never had that experience. And then she came up here and lived up here for a few years uh, with the girls you know, to get away from the city for a little while. And um, she, she loved it, made a lot of friends and, and had a good experience up here and uh, did a little homesteading for a few years, but then went back to the city because the education just sucks up here. So, um, Dave on a rant. Um, so um, my point is that um, <clears throat> everybody's getting tired of this woke, woke bullshit, this prima donna shit, everybody crying. Yeah, when I grew up, um, yeah, you know, it was sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never harm me. Yeah, you know, and yo, that shit goes a long way. I even, you know, lean on that to this day. And um, yo, you just don't get that. You, you say a name, you have an opinion, and it's not consistent. And usually it's a democratic frame of mind. It's not consistent with these people, and they trash you. And they don't mind if you lose your job. And, sh you know, they, they have no value, you, you know, the, the, or no values. Um, I mean, you know, despite what somebody says about somebody else, you don't, you don't take away their livelihood, you, you know? It's disgusting. They don't think, they don't have empathy for that. And I was raised um, in a family that employed people my whole life, and you learned the value of somebody's check. You don't take that lightly. And, um, um, you, you know, it just amazes me how quick people are to get somebody fired over something they said. I mean, yo, you're not just affecting this guy. You're affecting this guy, his family, his standing in his family, his self-image with his family. It, it, it's a terrible, terrible thing to do to somebody. And they don't care. And, and the view is, oh, they should have thought about that before they said it. No, dickhead. They have the right to say anything they want. You could say whatever you want. It's, it's, it's your right to act on it that is um, subjective. And, yo, I don't give a fuck. You, you know, Nazis have the right to say what the fuck they want. They don't have a right to act on it. The merits of what they say is not even in question. This is America. You have the right to say that. And I think that's why the Democrats 
Democratic Party is losing it. I mean, yo, France is liberal. Marconi is crazy liberal and already said he doesn't want um, the woke um, culture of America infecting his country. You know, I mean, yeah, what a joke these people are, an absolute joke. But finally, people are starting to realize it. And, you know, that's how it is. Things have to get to the extreme. And I think the Republican, I think it's going to be demonstrated in this election. I think, um, I mean, it seems like the market is leaning towards Republican. Um, but at, then again, I mean, it's not as though um, there's going to be change. I mean, you're going to have a Democratic president, a Republican um, um, uh, House and Senate. And... Um, I mean, nothing will get done, you, you know, be a lame duck section for the next two years. But at least it's not going to get worse. And, yo, dude, I don't give a fuck. It's getting worse under Biden. Yeah, you know, it's worse. He's done nothing. I mean, they bitched and moaned about the foreign uh, or immigration policies. They didn't change anything. They, most of uh, Trump's policies are still in place. They made a few other tweaks that are, uh, are contradictory to what's already in place. And now it's just fucking chaos. You know, there's not even a plan or order. I mean, yo, the worst, the worst administration ever. Um, well, maybe not ever. I think Carter was like pretty much a joke. And you ever notice that the biggest jokes, I mean, you know, Bush Jr., there were issues, an, uh, an apparent and obvious bias um, with Iraq, but um, not as big uh, a debacle. I, yo, even Trump, yeah, I don't give a fuck, man. All right, the guy wasn't the poster child uh, that you want leading your country, but you know what? Effective, decisive, you know. I'm a little worried about um, <clears throat> him gaining power and us losing a, a sense of democracy. You know, so it could go both ways. I mean, with the election, either he cleans it up because I don't give a fuck. I mean, there's cheating in the election. There was cheating um, during the uh, Gore-Bush uh, election. There's cheating in Trump Biden election. I mean, there's fucking cheating. And, and it's skewed one way. It's keeping independents out. It's keeping smaller politicians out. It's suppressing their voice. I mean, it's really not a just system. Um, and he's lobbying on the fact that it's not a just system. But is he going to lock it down and control it more? Or is he going to make it a, a just system? You know, very questionable, 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 questionable. I don't know, man. We need a young forward-thinking president. Although, yo, the, you know, the powers that be, the, the, the Bush family, the Cheney family, they're not going to let presidents do what presidents want to do. They, they got these guys on lockdown. And if they don't listen, they get a ride down to Texas Boulevard in a convertible. And if you tell me that it wasn't Bush that killed fucking Kennedy, you're out of your fucking mind. You, you know, Bush Sr., who was head of CIA, who um, <laughs> controls uh, Department of Defense, <clears throat> and... and, and I mean, yo, this guy was in place and, and handling things during the 50s and 60s. I think he was in place um, during Area 51. But, um, I mean, the Cheney-Bush clan, forget about it, man. They own this country. Big digression, big digression. So my point is that, yo, you know what? Don't expect much out of the stock market today. I, um, just like yesterday, just choppy day. Um, economic indicators... Uh, really nothing coming out. Uh, Red Book should be interesting. Um, optimism view. Um, and that's about it. Tomorrow we got oil. And we got barking, barking. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. I mean, it's the election. You, you know, Wednesday we're going to know what the world looks like. And, and trading is back on. What's ahead of that? Thursday we got jobless claims. Um, Friday, not a whole bunch. Next week. Got some PPI retail, <clears throat> oil and gas, housing. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Um, I think we're gonna get some, make some money at the end of this week. We're gonna see some uh, movement in some decent trades. So let's take a look at the market before you get tired of hearing from me. <clears throat> what do we got going on? Going on, going on, going on. So yeah, this could be a last kiss on that uh, head and shoulders. Yeah, you know, very possible. And yeah, you know what, man? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I think we're we're moving on up over the next few days. Um, could have a little trend going in right here. I mean, we made a higher low. So now we could logically conclude that we're going to make a higher high and uh, continue this trend. And we got the trend right here. 
I mean, I don't really see this as, as a low. I mean, if we counted this as a low, then we'd have to say we're in a consolidation. But this just kind of feels like it's in the same move. It doesn't really feel like a direction change, just kind of a little retrace, a, a little consolidation within an upward move. So I'm going to say that we're in an uptrend on the daily. But we haven't had a trend reversal on the weekly yet, right? So we had this low, we had this high, but then we came back and, and just made uh, a lower low. So we're in a consolidation. Actually, between here and here is our con consolidation pattern on the weekly. What we need to do is start trending a, a, um, an uptrend. So until we break the high of uh, 344 <clears throat> on the weekly, we're in an uptrend. We're in a, a consolidation. Let's look at... Uh, at the market, how that translates. Image is going to be a little bit different. Um, so here we have the daily uptrend, and we could still say, you, you know, it worked out good. And, you know, dude, we called this out. You, you know, we called out this um, head and shoulders. Um, we talked about this last kiss. Looks good today. I mean, at the moment, we're, we're looking at, um, at, at an up market. <clears throat> ah, we're flat. Yeah, there's nothing we can't really tell. Um, but let's see on the weekly. On the weekly. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, we're in a consolidation between um, this uh, 4,300 and this 3,400. 900 points. Wow. It's going to be a big change in sentiment. Um, I'm thinking uh, we got a head and shoulders into Christmas and that breaks and, you, you know, well, you, you know what? This is a good shoulder. The neckline should be about, no, this is the head, really. So the neckline. I give the neckline forty one seventy, yeah, into June. Uh, January, I'm sorry. May. Hmm. Yeah, I think um, we're 4,500 by May, and then um, for the summer we settled back into, um, it might be inhibiting me a little bit because I can't see further out, but yeah, I think uh, by the summer we're at 4,500, and then during the summer we're going to float back into this uh, into this trading range, this healthy tra trading range. I think, and then the the drama is over and the market goes flat. <clears throat> but again, short term is going to depend on what transpires today. Um, I'm not really going to bother to look at e everything else, given the fact that um, whoops that. Um, that we, we've got um, primaries, uh, uh, midterms rather. I keep saying that. I think I said that throughout the uh, recording yesterday. Midterms, midterms, midterms. All right, so subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, join me at 9 o'clock for a little bit of trading, and good luck with your trades.